talk about balance, you know, Coach King is probably loving this, but um, Jalen Hale, in terms of his recruitment for, for years, we talked about one of, you, you said long ago the history, and you talk about guys like Trent Williams and, and Haynes King. Um, Jalen Hale is one of these names that we heard at a national level as an underclassman, which I think is so rare for a, a town like Longview. Um, and I think going into his senior year, he's, I think, you know, while it's a three-team race, it's coming down to Texas and Alabama. Um, he's coming off visits to A&M and Alabama. Um, I like where Texas stands. I think he's become a priority for the staff, which he was um, really as an underclassman before. You, like I said, recruitment goes in a lot of different directions. Um, but it's cool to see Brendan Marion now back at Texas um, recruiting a guy like Jalen Hale. And, um, you know, Jalen has a relationship with Arch, and I think that's part of the reason why the Longhorns have surged with him. Yeah. Uh, how do you see, so commitment September 22nd, like give me some ideas. Like I, the first comment I happen to see on here is from our partners in Rockwall. It says he would like to know how, how Noble Johnson compares to like a Jalen Hill, the Rockwall wide receiver. Oh yeah. I, I, and I'm a huge Noble Johnson fan. Um, you know, those two receivers in particular are, are a little bit similar because they're both big frame, big physical wide receivers. Um, Noble is, Noble is about six foot three, 200 pounds right now. He's kind of, um, you don't want to say he's a, a hybrid tight end, but he's kind of a, a juiced up flex, a juiced up outside receiver who's big and physical can work on the outside and the inside. Um, I like to say, just give him the ball, let him run over people because he's so big, it's hard to corral. And um, he's a jump ball specialist. He's got great range. Jalen is more polished um, in terms of his route running, um, catching the ball underneath, kind of making plays after the fact. Um, I think Jalen is uh, at Longview. He does it all the time. Is taking the top off of defenses. I think when yeah. we saw it at Future Fifty, he still has some some ways to go to do that uh, when he gets to either Texas or Alabama. Um, and that'll you know he'll he'll work that out with his receivers coach. But right now, you know he does it on Friday nights. He's always ahead of the curve as um, a dynamic, true you know wide receiver one sort of receiver. Do you have a like an NFL player you compare his game to? Hmm. Like you've been doing it a long time. Like who, who do you look back? To like yeah, you know, this, I know this is Jalen Hill in high school. You know, I know this is it's kind of hard praise, but you know, the only receiver that really comes to mind is you know when I first started doing this, I watched Stephon Diggs because um, Jalen is not you know six foot four and one hundred and ninety pounds. Um, you know, he's about six foot one, six foot two ish, but he's still pretty. Um, you know, he's he's well built physically. He's so dynamic after the catch. You know, even though he isn't the biggest receiver, it has no impact on his, you know, competitiveness coming back for the football. Um, and I really think, you know, he has all the traits from, from his long stride speed, his straight line speed, his um, ability to get up and, and obviously get after and, and high point the football and come down with tough grabs. I think he's really just scratching the surface. I think his best football is still two to three years ahead of him. 